Hi, I'm Charlie Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and from the Frederick Health Hospital. Today, we're going to be talking about a particularly difficult angio of a rema that required the use of an angled microcatheter. The patient is a 70-year-old man with a coronary artery disease. His status was a cabbage. Uh, he has a lima to the LED, a rema to the OM, and a vein graft to the PDA. He has been having a progressive angina. His echo was normal, uh, but his nuclear stress test suggested infralateral ischemia, uh, so he was sent for cath. On cath, his natives are all severely diseased, but both the lima to the LED and the vein graft to the PDA uh, were widely patent. Um, our initial attempt at shooting the rema is shown here. Uh, you see a very torturous uh, right subclavian uh, with a sharp downward takeoff uh, from the brachiocephalic trunk. We tried to pass a woolly wire through all this, uh, but uh, it could not make the turn into the subclavian. We then decided to switch to right radial, uh, but most, most unfortunately, uh, the barbell was bad. We uh, then reached for the IMC catheter and then a 3DRC catheter. I have had a lot of good luck uh, using 3DRCs for tough remus. Uh, but in this case, uh, the woolly wire still could not make it down the subclavian. We then reached for an angled glide wire via glide sheath. Uh, that made it a little further down the subclavian, but neither the IMC nor the 3DRC uh, could follow. Uh, swapping the, uh, the glide wire to a more supportive uh, woolly wire still didn't work. Uh, the woolly wire uh, could not make it around the tight bend without the kicking out uh, the 3DRC catheter. So uh, what the heck do we do? Uh, so we decided to try a coronary wire. Uh, we went up with a 6 French JR4 guide catheter now and tried to get a BMW uh, down the subclavian. And initially we were not successful. Uh, the BMW could not make the downward turn uh, and kept getting pushed up into the carotid. Uh, we, were up, we were about to stop, uh, but one of our very experienced senior techs uh, suggested trying an angled microcatheter. So that was an interesting idea. Uh, ma angled microcatheters are usually used to engage uh, difficult uh, uh, coronary side branches. So uh, we reached for a, a Supercross 120 uh, microcatheter, uh, and that actually successfully engaged the mouth of the subclavian and provided enough backup for a BMW to navigate around all of the tortuosity all the way into the brachial artery, even with the guide uh, kicked back. But then how do we get the guide to follow? Uh, the BMW uh, did not provide sufficient support uh, for the guide. So uh, we uh, reached into our coronary uh, toolbox again. Um, a, a guide liner, a guide extension catheter uh, was actually flexible enough to pass over the BMW to the mouth of the rema. We uh, took a non-selective shot, hoping to be done, uh, but it was still insufficient. Uh, we weren't able to opacify the whole rema. So uh, what do we do now? So we uh, decided to try to wire the rema. Uh, we reached for a second BMW wire, uh, but the wire could not pass into the rema and kept sliding forward uh, into the uh, subclavian. So we reached again for the Supercross 120. Uh, the Supercross uh, engaged the rema remarkably easily, and injection uh, via the Supercross, unfortunately, was still not sufficient uh, to pacify the rema. But fortunately, uh, the BMW was easily able to wire and pass into the rema uh, via the Supercross. And over the BMW wire now in the rema, the uh, guide liner followed uh, very easily into the proximal rema. Finally. Uh, a small victory uh, for persistence. Uh, we then performed a selective angiography of the rema and demonstrated a patent graft uh, with small vessel disease distally, um, for which we recommend, uh, re recommended intensifying uh, medical therapy. That sure was a lot of work uh, to recommend a couple of pills. But we were able to get good data uh, to help the patient. All right, take home messages. Uh, rema angiography can be very difficult uh, from the femoral approach. I do find that the 3DRC catheter uh, sometimes works quite well and uh, have a low threshold uh, to switch to a right radial approach. Um, and remember that coronary techniques can sometimes be useful as uh, this uh, case illustrated. Uh, coronary wires uh, can navigate vessels that larger gauge uh, peripheral wires are not able to navigate or negotiate. Angled microcatheters can be helpful uh, to engage tough branches, and guide extension catheters, such as a guideliner, uh, can be uh, used to both increase support 
and improve uh, vessel opacification. Thank you for watching.